seriously, why don't I have a battery powered one of these? <laughs> This thing is seriously weak, so for the rest of that I'm probably just going to plaster over it really quickly. So back because this was actually really quite a popular video, though not many views, it did actually get a lot of people really liking it. So I thought I would just do some more of these because I really do have to do a lot of this work. But one of the things that just popped into my mind as I was doing this is... Now, I love my mum, but she does things thinking one certain way, which is generally wrong. Here we've got like a wooden frame here. She wanted an aluminium one, I wanted to keep it wooden. So what she did is she cut the tiles here because she was uh, working with the tile person to do this. She cut the tiles here so then it doesn't really line up. It's really quite shitty here. And she was like, oh, we'll just stick some quarter round wood in it, just like there is here. But she didn't cut it right, and then she was like, oh, well, we'll just fill it in with putty then. She's done this deliberately, so then this actually has to come out and have an aluminium frame put in. But I don't want an aluminium frame here because it's just a lot of work. Because if this was just a regular brick wall with wooden plaster in here, it'd be fine. But it's, it's not. This is concrete, so it's going to be difficult to do that. So instead, so you're going to have to figure out, probably going to pull out the bottom end of this frame, put in a new bit of wood here, and then put the edges back in and it should be all good. <sighs> but this is not the first time she's kind of screwed me on things. She does things saying that it's for me, which is great and all, but she does it her way. And <sighs> I love my mum most of the time. But, oh my god. Here's another example. So this window is another example of what she did, thinking that it was the right thing to do. Originally there was a really big window in here, once again, wooden frames, old fashioned, not very good. But every window, since the house had been here for so long, had been smashed by vandals, because, well, it was here, and why not? Apparently. So I was going to get all new windows and just replace them all. It would have been a simple thing and then just repainted it would have taken me half a day. But she ended up getting this aluminium frame. Fantastic! Looks dated as balls! The other thing is, it's slightly shorter. From this side, it doesn't look so bad. But from the outside, it's another story. So from here, it doesn't look so bad. And up the top, I can kind of forgive because I can kind of make it work. But the Bottom? Look how all this plays out, it's so terrible, I hate it! I have to figure out how to fix this and put a new window sill in to bring it up to the bottom of the window. It looks hideous! Thanks, Mom! So whilst we're waiting on that, I wanted to make a mount for this to go onto my chest so then I could do a time-lapse of VidCon. Before we start this next segment, I just wanted to say that I'm a little on the edge because, my god, I just had a studio light, which is lighting this area here, explode. Now, I'm not talking pop. I'm talking explode, like gunshot loud. It dented the back end of the reflector bit and it punched through the freaking shield of it. If I was standing in front of a cut, I would have a part of that leg globe inside of me. So, back to the regular programming. But uh, the problem is, is I bought it on sale around Christmas time and there's GoPro Hero Plus which is not a model number, and I couldn't find any accessories, and I wanted to mount it on my chest. Originally, I wanted it over my shoulder, like a predator. But instead, I decided to go for the chest thing, because that actually exists. But the problem is, is it doesn't lean back very far, so it'd be pointing at the ground if it was on my chest, as you can see. So, I needed to take this off, and somehow extend it out, so then it would... It's kind of like that. So, to that end, I bought me some of this. Nice uh, hold up little strap metal which you can separate. Now, I already separated some. Got a whole bunch of them here. And it takes two to three to shove in the middle of each one of these slots. I measured it all out, I got it all perfect. So, now all I have to do is figure out how... <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I should really wear a mask while standing. So I have to figure out how I'm going to fit these in together and how many I'm going to need. So I'm going to have them off-center because 
it doesn't quite work. So I'm going to do this. The problem is, is these holes, which are the perfect size for the screw, are not near the outside enough. So it doesn't actually fit in there properly. So I have to take a grinder to it. Is it broken? That are we gear? I might actually hang it upside down so then maybe it will shake less and then just flip the video in post. Uh out of alignment so it's perfect here in between but not so perfect here because I can't fit three around this so two will have to do let's go test this out I wonder what the audio is like on this thing to keep you can't hang around. 